Good evening, this is John Caldwell with some breaking news in the professional wrestling world. TMZ.com reported this evening that former WWE star Ashley Mazzaro, who won the second edition of WWE's Diva Search, passed away early this morning in Long Island, New York, after being transported from her home to a hospital. She was only 39 years old. Mazzaro, a native of Long Island, New York, was recruited by a casting director into the second-ever WWE Diva Search contest while competing in a swimsuit competition. With background in modeling and pageants, plus her tomboy rocker look, Mazzaro stood out and was declared the winner, earning a one-year deal with WWE as well as a $250,000 prize. Mazzaro was brought to the Raw roster as a babyface, where she was immediately put into a feud with Tori Wilson and Candice Michelle. Trish Stratus aligned with Mazzaro to even the score, feuding over several pay-per-views at bra and panty matches and other similar stipulations that were the norm for the Divas division at the time. Mazzaro then moved on to a feud with Mickey James, but that story was cut short when Mazzaro suffered a fractured left fibula in her leg while being eliminated from a battle royal on Raw. Mazzaro underwent surgery and continued to make non-physical appearances on Raw. Mazzaro was moved to the SmackDown brand, feuding with Michelle McCool and Crystal Marshall before transitioning into a ballet role for Brian Kendrick and Paul London. The trio began feuding with MNM, which led to Mazzaro challenging then-WWE Women's Champion Melina at WrestleMania 23 in Detroit, Michigan. After taking time off to repair a screw in her leg, from the surgery to repair the broken fibula that had loosened, Mazzaro took part in a storyline to promote Maria Kanellis as the next diva to pose for Playboy. She remained with the company until 2008, when she was released from her contract a week after she requested an exit in order to take care of her sick daughter. It should be noted there were claims of personal issues she was dealing with at the time as well. Mazzaro's biggest accomplishments for the company were outside of the ring as a representative for WWE. However, she was WWE's then annual Playboy cover model in 2007. She then represented the company on CBS's reality series Survivor, being eliminated in the second episode of the 2007 season. She also guest starred on the hit Superman origin series Smallville as a villain alongside Kane. In the years since her WWE departure, Mazzaro rarely wrestled but was a consistent personality at pop culture and pro wrestling conventions. However, in recent weeks, she had begun training again at the New York Wrestling Connection School in Long Island, seeking to get more involved again as a wrestler on the independents. In 2016, Mazzaro joined the concussion-related lawsuit against WWE, alleging that she was sexually assaulted while touring for WWE on a military base in Kuwait, claiming the company apologized but persuaded her not to report the attack. The lawsuit was later dismissed with Mazzaro's claims being tossed out of the case for not being relevant to the core crux of the case, which were allegations that the company did not properly educate talents on the dangers of neurological damage from performing as professional wrestlers. TMZ is citing that Mazzaro's death today is, according to some local authorities, as non-criminal. And I want to send good vibes and well wishes out to Mazzaro's daughter, her family, friends, and fans. It's uh, such a tragic thing to hear about. Of course, earlier today, you had all this stuff coming out about Ric Flair apparently being rushed to the hospital, being in a grave medical condition, and getting ready to die and stuff, and then come to find out he was doing all right. He just had a procedure that uh, he's scheduled to do, that he wanted to have done. A couple of hours later, after all the health scare with Ric Flair, you have an actual wrestler die in Ashley Mazzaro, and this is just such a devastating and shocking thing to hear about. Ashley was one of my favorite female wrestlers in the WWE back whenever I was growing up. I was 11 years old, of course, when the Diva Search was going on that she was in, and she won. I wanted Ashley to win that Diva Search, and she won it. And I was so happy for her and, you know, just the whole, you know, build up to her winning it. You know, she gave her uh, phone number out to the fans and stuff like that uh, to call her and stuff and talk to her. Uh, she was just such a nice person, such a very humble person and one of the classiest and uh, awesome ladies that I've ever seen in professional wrestling. Uh, I really wish that the WWE would have made her women's champion back at WrestleMania 23, you know, she had a lot of momentum and stuff, and I know Melina, you know, she she's awesome as well, but I really wish that Ashley would have been women's champion, I really wish that she could have won that belt, you know, she just was such 
a really awesome character and just a really awesome human being. And uh, just her whole look, you know, the skull and crossbones and the punk rock stuff and the short skirts and stuff. She was just really awesome. Man, this just really hits me in the gut. You know, when one of your your favorites in pro wrestling dies, it's uh, just such a hard thing to really process. You know, if uh, Cause of Death comes out, I'm not going to announce it, you know, out of respect for her and her family and her friends. But, uh, man, it's just, it really hits you hard. It really hits you hard. Ashley was an inspiration uh, to a lot of female wrestlers in the WWE. I see a lot of similarities between Caitlyn and Ashley. You know, Caitlyn, you know, she'd throw up the devil horns and stuff whenever she'd come out. And she kind of looked like Ashley in a way. AJ Lee had the short shorts and, you know, Ashley had the miniskirt. And, uh... AJ had the the tomboy punk rock character that Ashley had, and uh, yeah, Ashley Mazzaro made a huge difference on professional wrestling, and she's definitely going to be missed, but I know Ashley is uh, looking down on us from heaven now, you know, throwing up the uh, rock horns up there, and having herself a grand old time. That's just a, such a really tough thing to hear about. So, once again... Good vibes and well wishes out to her daughter, who is uh, 19 years old. Uh, I can't imagine what she's going through right now. I send prayers and good vibes and well wishes out to her and, of course, her family, friends, and fans. Rest in peace, Ashley. There will never be another one in the world of pro wrestling as awesome as you. <laughs>